So this is sort of the next uh, section of the project here. This is one of the tanks that I had picked up off of a buy and sell site. And uh, what the fellow was doing with it is he actually was filling up hot tubs that they had rented out. So we made a couple modifications to it. We actually put a little bit better of a bung on the bottom. And the thing I like about it is it's a nice low profile tank so it's not going to be too top heavy. I have been told before that they do slosh around a little bit when you have a lot of water in them. And then what we also did is we added another, uh, I guess an intake pipe on the side of it so we can recirculate uh, uh, whenever we're out at a scene that we don't actually burn out the pump or anything like that. And it's also got a really nice big uh, fill lid on it as well. So that'll fit really, really nicely in the back of the flat deck truck with a little bit of room to spare. At the same time, I was able to uh, go past a agro site and uh, they had these uh, other totes as well. So I've seen a couple different people on YouTube making uh, uh, fire tanks out of IBC totes. This is uh, actually one of the smaller ones they make, so it's about half the size of a regular IBC tote. You can stack up two of them together and get you basically the same kind of water uh, quantity. I picked up two of those and then I also picked up one of the larger tanks. Currently we're using them to uh, store rainwater in and uh, one of the reasons we're actually doing that is in the uh, event that there's a, an actual wildfire uh, rain or something like that we have a set of sprinklers we can deploy on top of the house that will actually soak a 75 foot area so we'll slap up one of those on the house one on the garage and that'll actually save our structures. And now we're going to go on and uh, have a look at the fire pump system.